In this lesson, we're going to review the Pythagorean theorem. So the first thing you need to know is the sides, how to label the sides of a right triangle. So if we're given this right triangle here, the longest side is the side across from the 90 degree angle, and that side is called the hypotenuse. So you go to the right angle across from that, that's going to be your hypotenuse. And then the other two sides are just called the legs. So we just label those leg and leg. So Pythagorean theorem is only going to work for right triangles, and the main use of the Pythagorean theorem is to find the missing side of a right triangle. So how we do that is we use the theorem, which says that the sum of the squares of the legs is equal to the square of the hypotenuse. So meaning if C is the hypotenuse, the longest side, A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. So remember, one of the main uses is going to be to determine um, a missing side of a right triangle. So if we look at this first example, we have triangle ABD. A, the measure of angle D is 90, so that means I can put a 90 degree angle in here. The little M here stands for measure of angle D. AD, so the length between points A and D is 8. AB is 10. We're trying to find the length of BD, so that means I'm going to put an X there. So then from there, I know that I can use Pythagorean theorem because one, I have a right triangle, and two, I'm trying to find the missing side of a right triangle given to other sides. So I'm going to use Pythagorean theorem, so a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And remember that the hypotenuse is the longest side that's across from the right angle, so the 10 is going to go in for c, and a and b are the two legs. It doesn't matter which one um, goes where. So you can put 8 first or x first, it doesn't matter. So 8 squared plus x squared equals 10 squared. And then we just simplify this. So 8 squared gives me 64 plus x squared equals 10 squared, which is 100. We have to get x by itself, so I'm going to subtract 64 from both sides. So we get x squared equals 36. And again, getting x by itself means we're going to square root both sides. To undo a squared term, you're going to square root. So square root, and you get x equals 6. So to make sure we actually answer the question, what is the length of BD? Well, the length of BD is equal to 6. 6 units. So that's the first major use of the Pythagorean theorem, um, is to find a missing side. And also, I want you to take a look at this right triangle here and notice that um, it's a 6, 8, 10 right triangle is what we would call this, meaning two legs are 6 and 8 and the hypotenuse is 10. And this is actually a multiple of one of our well-known Pythagorean triples. So um, some well-known Pythagorean triples, I'm just going to write them off to the side here. So Pythagorean triples... 3, 4, 5 is a well-known one, and any multiples of that. So see how if I multiply each of these numbers by 2, I get 6, 8, and 10. So if you remember 3, 4, 5 forming a right triangle, that means 3 and 4 of the legs, the hypotenuse is 5. You always know that those three numbers work in the Pythagorean theorem. It's just a really common one that comes up often. So if you remember that, and if you remember any multiples of it, sometimes you can skip having to do Pythagorean theorem. So that's just kind of a shortcut. Some other Pythagorean triples that are um, worth writing down, 5, 12, and 13, and any multiples of that, and then 8, 15, and 17, and any multiples. So that's just kind of a side note. So what happens if you are trying to decide if three sides form a right triangle and it's not one of these triples, or it's not one of the, a multiple of one of these triples? Well, what you can also use is the Pythagorean theorem. So if you look at example two, it says, is the triangle with sides 5, 7, 13 a right triangle? So the second use, the second most important use of the Pythagorean theorem is to determine if you have a right triangle. So remember, the first use is to find a missing side. The second use is to decide if you have a right triangle. So the longest side is 13. That has to go in for C. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug into the Pythagorean theorem, and I'm going to see if these numbers satisfy it. So if I plug in 5, so 5 squared plus 7 squared, I'm going to see if this equals 13 squared. So I put a question mark above the equal sign because I want to see if it actually works. 
So 25 plus 49. I want to see if that equals 169. You add these up, we get 74. That does not equal 169. So these side lengths do not form a right triangle. So I would say, um, is a triangle a right triangle? No, the triangle is not a right triangle because the sides do not satisfy the Pythagorean theorem. So now you can go ahead and complete the check for understanding.